Hello guys, Brad on YouTube, and I want to talk about a fragrance right now called L'Artisan's T42. And uh, this came to me courtesy of Gimme54, and uh, it came out in the year 2000. It is classified as aromatic spicy. The note breakdown, we have top notes of bergamot, star anise, and tea. Middle notes of cinnamon, ginger, and spices. And base notes of honey and vanilla. And over at the Base Notes website, we have 79 positive reviews, 13 neutrals, and 7 negatives. Okay, so uh, basically what I did with this fragrance, since it was just a small 1 milliliter sample, I uh, tested it on my arm yesterday evening, got my impression there, and then I wore it this morning to work as my scent of the day. So I kind of got two different impressions of it. My uh, initial impression, I sprayed it on my arm, and... Uh, I was really impressed with it. It came across as like a very pleasant gourmand-like black tea smell. It was kind of sweet, spicy, and I, I thought it was the best smelling black tea scent I ever experienced. I thought it would be like, you know, a great fall rotation scent. Maybe one of my top five all-time niche fragrances. Uh, and I gave it about a 9 out of 10. Uh, but when I worked to work today... Um, something happened. It, it kind of changed for some reason. And uh, when I worked to work today, I got mostly cloves and cinnamon. So I kind of felt like it was more of like a spice rack type smell. Um, and when, if you watched uh, Miguel's um, review of this fragrance, he did mention a similarity to tobacco vanilla. And I think he's running the money there because that clove note does have that same clove-like smell in tobacco vanilla in the opening and uh, if you watched uh, Dan's review uh, somebody accused him of being a smoker even though he wasn't smoking again that clove note uh, gives across that clove cigarette smell and uh, I think somebody said he smelled like potpourri so yeah there's lots of spices there a lot of nice fall spices that uh, do kind of give a potpourri effect um, so, yeah, I work, I don't know, I wasn't quite as impressed with it. It kind of came across as like a niche version of Hugo Boss Soul, which I actually think I like better than this one in terms of the way it played on my skin today at work. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm blown away by this one. Uh, for some reason, it just like with Tuscan Leather, um, it kind of took a bad turn when I actually wore it versus just tested it on my skin the day before. So I don't know what's going on with that, but... Uh, I would definitely say if you want to try this fragrance, uh, get, you know, uh, get a sample and try it a few times. Try it on your skin, wear it to work, or wear it out on a date or whatever. And make sure you uh, really like this one because it is pretty pricey. It's about a $90 bottle fragrance. Um, it's a niche fragrance. So, yeah, it's a little pricey. Um, yeah, first I thought maybe I would think about getting a decant or, you know, a bottle. I probably wouldn't get a bottle, but, you know, I wouldn't. Uh, mind having the bottle, but now I don't think I would want the bottle or even the decant. I think I'll stick with uh, Hugo Boss Soul when I want that dry, spicy smell. Yeah, if you haven't tried Hugo Boss Soul, uh, you might like that one if you like this one. But uh, for people that like the smell of cloves, um, if you like uh, black tea scents, um, if you like fall spicy scents, potpourri type scents, this one might be for you. Uh, my stepdaughter said it smelled like funnel cake, which is kind of interesting because over base notes, I think uh, some of the reviewers mentioned it kind of smelled like gingerbread. Um, so uh, I think that's about all I'm going to say about this one. Um, you yeah, know, an interesting fragrance, pretty unique, uh, but for me, mostly just cinnamon and cloves. Maybe a touch of black tea. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.